Hello my people, welcome back. Today I'm here with my friend the banana tree and his son little banana and yeah today I'll be telling you a little bit about my friends. So first let me give you some information about some nutrients that the banana has. Then I'll give you a quick history and then we'll be good to go for the practical part where we actually learn how the banana works. So one of what the banana has is vitamin B6 which helps you for your mood improvement and it has vitamin C which boosts your immune system and it has fiber which helps you to control your blood sugar levels amongst other wonderful properties that the banana has. So a quick history of bananas. They originally come from Southeast Asia and that's like Southeast Asia that would be Papua New Guinea for example. From there in the 1500s they were transported to the Americas like South and Central America and in the 1800s some captains from the United States were searching for coconuts they found out about the bananas and they um, decided to ship them to the States it became very popular and since then the banana spread over the whole world as you might have noticed the banana doesn't have any seeds so imagine a seed full banana where you had to pick the seeds out in order to eat it. But what happened here? Did the banana always have no seeds? The thing was that from the original banana that had seeds, a natural mutation happened. So at some point the banana decided, okay, I will grow out with no seeds. Some people discovered that, populated it, and yeah, now we have the seedless banana. But how do bananas actually work? To figure out that question, I invited my friend Roberto. And yep. he is from, where are you from, Roberto? I'm from Panama, currently living in Brazil. Awesome, and being from Panama, you know a lot about bananas, right? Yeah, we know about them. Awesome, how do you call bananas in uh, Panama? Guineos. Guineos, that's different, isn't it? It's different, it? yeah. Yeah, all right, so what are we doing now? So now we are going to cut the banana and then how we can use the banana trees to put into the other banana to give them more nutrients. So Awesome, so now we will harvest the banana yeah, and for sure. let's see how it works. Alright Roberto, tell us how we harvest the bananas actually. Okay, I think that the first step is to have a machete. Okay. This is the first step, no? Uh huh. It's not too much hard to cut a banana, so you need to make a cut here. On the stem? Yes. To cut here. So let's do, let's let's see how how it works. And then put it down. Why? Because the banana need to be in the air to take care of them. Mm -hmm. So then you can cut the foliage. Oh. And then here you want to take them. That's it. Wow. Easy. That was quick. Yes! <laughs> let me try to do that too. For sure. Alright, so let me try that again uh, by myself. So the bananas are up there. In order to get to them, first we cut here. So yes. Let's try that. Oh. Okay. Not that easy. <laughs> Take care, mate. <laughs> yes! I guess that was too fast. Yeah. <laughs> and then... 
we cut some of the leaves off. And then we have our bananas. You got it. Okay, Roberto, tell me one thing. Why do we have to cut down the whole tree to get the bananas? Can't we just pick the bananas and then they grow again? Um, no, we cannot cut and they grow again because they give also one banana plant, also one, one banana fruit. So one palm tree brings only one bunch of bananas? Yeah, one bunch of banana. Mm -hmm. So, but we have to cut those one because we are going to use these ones to get nutrients to the other bananas. Ah, so now we will cut yes. the whole thing down completely? Yeah, completely. Okay. Let's meet that. That was Done. it already. That was fast. Yes. All right. So those stems, they will decompose and then they will give nutrients to the next bananas that are up there. Yes. All right. <laughs> so now we have those bananas and we will wait until they ripen. They become yellow and then we can eat them. So one short side note. I always thought that to transport the bananas to Germany or to other places, they harvest them green and then it's like for transportation reasons that they harvest them green, that they arrive well in um, whatever country. And I thought in the places where it actually grows, they wait until they become yellow and then they harvest it. But as you can see, we still harvest them green. It is because usually when you let them ripen until they're yellow, birds will come and start eat them. So there's no way to wait until they're yellow. So you have to harvest them before. But we cut down our banana tree, right? So how do we make sure that we will have next bananas? When you open a banana, you will notice there are no seeds in the banana. So what do we do? How do we have more bananas to plant? In order to answer that, let's take a look at how it works. All right, Roberto, so tell us, how do we plant new bananas? Hello, beautiful people. Now I'm going to teach you how to plant a new banana. So you have to use this tool, checks how it works. So okay. the first step is to take all the plants, the banana tree is going mm -hmm. to take all in this moment. So looks how it works. So as we can see here, there is the mother banana plant, mother banana plant, and from it grow some offshoots, as you can see there. So what we do, we take them out and then we transplant them. And from them will grow other banana trees. So that's how you reproduce bananas. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh. All right, so you, here we can see there are some roots and if we put it in the soil the banana tree will grow and bear its own bananas. So as you can see here, here is the main banana plant. It grows here and then from it grow little offshoots. If you dig here you can see that the roots down there produce a new offshoot um, and then it grows by itself and produces new bananas. So what we do, we take this out and then we can transplant it to another place where from that will grow other offshoots and that's how a banana is reproduced. So let me actually try that by myself. I'm not as skilled as Roberto, but yeah, let's try. <laughs> this 
might take some minutes. <laughs> yeah, as I told you, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got it. Oh, so looks nice. I have a good root system there. Yeah. So it should grow well. And here you can see, that's the connection oh, the other from one. the mother plant. Mother plant. So there it grew out, and then at some point it will have offshoots by itself. Yeah. All right, now that we separated the daughter plant from the mother plant, now it's time to transplant it. And that's the final step. Let's do it. So next to my house, I already dug a hole here. So now we just put the banana plant inside, just like that. And then we will cover it with the soil. Here, uh, next to my house, the soil is quite... Um, it's not rich in nutrients, it has, it has quite few. So that's perfect because a banana doesn't really need much. So a banana is really great for soils and environments where there's not a lot of nutrients inside. So just put the soil here, like that, Maybe a little bit more, like that, and that's it. Here we have it, a new banana plant. Here you can see I planted the other one already, so now both the offshoots of the mother banana plant are planted. Here you can see another banana plant that I planted a time ago. Uh, it was really small and when I planted it, first it looked like it died, but the root system down there was still alive. So from there, a new banana plant is growing, as you can see here. So thank you for watching my banana video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new. And see you next time.